Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of A Chemical Exchange. I said I was going to be busy between episodes and build a new base. I think I did that. Let's have a look around. So, up here, yeah, I know, it's massive, isn't it? Up here, it's going to be our bonsai farm. So, we've got uh, 12 chests all ready to go. I've got the bonsais made, so we'll get into that in a second, but I'll take you on a quick tour. We come down to the next floor, a little bit of a roof. Not sure what I'm going to put up in here yet. Probably some power gen, maybe some good generators. Maybe, not sure yet. Let me come down to the last floor, and we've got ourselves a nice little tidy base. Um, I did pop in some dirt over here, and I was actually lucky enough to get two cows to spawn. Uh, not very often that uh, passive mobs spawn around here, so I was actually lucky enough to get a couple of those. And I threw in a little bit of wheat seeds and just grew it with some bone meal. And now I've got more cows, because you know what mummy and daddy cows do when you breed them. So heaps of them. Uh, and we've got... Oh, I must have left my apples somewhere. Where did I eat them all? Oh, there's a couple there. We'll chuck them in here. Uh, yeah, so we've got quite a few bits and pieces done. And plenty of platforms I've got to make some room for. Plenty um, of ideas coming thick and fast now that we've got the space. Uh, so we do have over here, this is our lava pool. I'm sure we'll have some lava in it shortly. Um, I'll, it'll be turned into obsidian pretty quick though. Uh, this is our tree growing area, so a couple of tall uh, spruce uh, straight away. Uh, this platform here may be our mob farm. Not quite sure yet. Um, it's either that one or that one over there. But I do have, so the squid farm's still here. You can fall down a little bit. Uh, pick up all that and I did go ahead and go down and make another platform down here so we go into our waypoints and we now have platform nine and three quarters so it's down at Y level two um, I'm thinking I might make a mob farm down here because uh, mobs spawn better the lower you are in the world so I guess we could give that a shot and uh, we'll see how we go so we'll just head on back up the top And hopefully we've got a few more foods done. I'll have to find my other ones. I don't know where I put them. Yeah, so uh, first thing on the list we need to do is set up those bonsais upstairs. So um, I did have a few. There we go. So we've got 12 uh, bonsai, hopping bonsais with 12 dirt. I'll do four oak, four spruce, two jungle, and I will, if I can find some cellulose and some oxygen, we'll make a couple of uh, dark oak saplings as well, uh, just to get some different variety of woods. So we need some oxygen. There we go. Come back over to our combiner. Have a look at the use on cellulose. Scroll through. There's our spruce. Acacia, we should do an acacia tree, but not quite yet. There we go, dark oak, so we'll do that. Well, that's way too many, but good enough. And then we just need to head on up through our elevators and place down our popping bonsais. Doop, doop, and doop. And then we get our dirts and place our dirts in. In. Thank you. There we go. And now we start with a couple of dark oaks. One there, one there. And then we'll get our four oaks. One, two, three, and four. Our spruce. One, two, three, and four. And of course, Last two. There we go. So you can see they grow up. And then once they're fully grown, they get automatically harvested. Content spat into the chest. And they regrow. Nice and easy. Automated wood. So there you go. They've dropped down. Oh, and a whole grow time. Got a stick. Stick and some wood. So that's not too bad. There we go. We get apples. So get all kinds of good stuff. I'll probably upgrade the collection chests later on. Uh, so we can actually collect more stuff, but 
chances are it will probably end up in a full collection system with uh, cables and stuff going down into an alchemical chest, um, which will well, probably through a chemical dissolver first and then into an alchemical chest, which will automatically make all the EMC we'll ever need. Now, speaking of things we need, uh, in the quest book down here, well, actually probably should accept all of these because... We need a lot of the stuff, so we get the Night of Lullifier. Oh, look at that free hopping bonsai. Uh, fluid tank to collect all the fluids from the liquefier, the obsidian breaker, and then just heaps of monies and some more grass. Uh, but this is what we are actually working on today. So it is our evaporator. So we need a couple of tungsten and a heap of pressure plates. So let's just not do this by halves and just grab a whole heap of pressure plates. And a whole heap of tungsten, which is W. And then we'll go over here and make some ingots. Like so. There we go. And then we can make a few evaporators. Uh, it was... Got a blank now. So... Evaporator. If you did want to bookmark it, you just press, well, actually, when you're not on that, you press A, shoots it over here so you can always find it. There we go. So we'll grab six of them. That sounds like a good number. And do we have any spare chests? Doesn't look like it. But we will need a couple of bonds, a couple of hoppers. So we've got our speedy hopper there, our speedy hopper there, and. We'll grab a couple of chests to go with that. And we'll get this bad boy set up to start getting some more ingredients. Where are we going to put it? Mm. We'll put it around the back, around here somewhere. So we will chuck a couple of chests first. So we'll chuck that bad guy there. That one there. Why not? We'll just go a double. We can pop that there, pop that there, there, and there, and we will need an infinite water source, so we'll pop that in the corner. Super prepared with this one. Let's find our buckets. There we go. Drop off the squid ink. And let's give us some room. So these guys work by doing exactly what the name says. Just evaporating liquid. So they should hold around ten bucks each. Ten buckets each. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Just reach, look at that. They will start to make salt for us. But we do get a few other cool uh, elements out of these guys, some of which will need to progress a lot further in the pack. So as you can see, we're starting to get our mineral salts now. So we'll go and dump a few of these things off that we don't need. Uh, as well. Get a little bit more organized. I will come back and clean all this up, I promise. One day. One day when I can English as well. So, there is our mineral salt. So, we'll go and dissolve that and see if we get lucky. If you actually look at the uses on it, you can see we have a small chance of getting zinc. We get copper. We get a little bit of iron, magnesium, and then some potassium chloride and lithium. So, let's see what our luck's like today. Eh. Well, at least we get the potassium. Not sure if we've got potassium yet. 
No, we had potassium already. Oh, uh, well. That's sodium and chlorine. Didn't have sodium, so there we go. Something new at least. No quest for that. Oh, you better sleep. Let's go see how this guy's going. Slowly. So we'll take that and try again. Let's see what our luck is like this time. Oh, look at that. Iron. Great. Yay. Alright, doesn't look like it's going to be very cooperative with what we need today. So. We will kick on with our next objective, which is, has been opened up here, it's our energy condenser. And we may as well get that. Uh, so yeah, our energy condenser we need for converting items automatically into EMC. They just get pumped into it. So we need to make our, our chemical chest first. So we need some iron, a chest, some stone, a diamond, and some low covalence dust. So there's our diamond, there's our iron, there's our low covalence dust, there's our chest, and our stone. There we go, that should be it, I think. Chemical chest, boom, there we go, that's that bit done. And then we need Some ender pearls and some obsidian. So we need to get our melter back out. I don't think I got it. Yeah, there it is. So we've got a few buckets of lava. We need our buckets back. Why do I keep throwing them away? I don't know. That will take three. This will take. Actually, we better make a fourth one because I don't know how watch that um, how quick that lava will set my entire base on fire this could be a fun experiment I want the fourth one I will have to make a fifth bucket wow Funder you are an amazing run tonight alright so we need to get one filled with water so let's go and test our luck. Get rid of all of that, get our obsidian breaker ready. And one, two, three, and four. And a bucket of water. There we go. Well, look at that, all the torches got washed away. So we just right click with the obsidian breaker and we get our obsidian. Nice and easy. So, we're going to put some more phosphorus in that lava um, maker. Where I can find it, where are you? There we go. Keep that topped up because you never know when we're going to need some lava. So, we now have that. What else did we need for it? Put the uses. Just four ender pearls. Pretty sure we can do that. So, obsidian, and a pearl, alchemical chest. There we go. So, I will just pop that little guy in the corner. So, you put in your target item, which in our case, you need something with EMC. So say for example, we want to make titanium. You put titanium up there and then anything with EMC that gets pumped in will be converted into EMC with this meter and then turned into titanium. So you just keep pumping whatever you want in and it turns it into whatever you like up here. And then you can just chuck that straight in the table. So there we have it. 
So what I need to get done now is the mob farm downstairs. So I won't bore you guys with all of that. I'll, I'll cut the video. I'll see if I can get a little bit of time lapse maybe um, if I don't fall off the edge. We do have forgiving void anyway. So even if you do fall off the edge, you just come straight back down and land. And if you hit the ground, you just go down to half hour. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, so I will get a little bit of a mob farm up and running and then uh, I'll pop back with you and see how our salts are going. So I am back. I did tweak it up a little bit, move a few things around. We're not getting 100% of the drops coming through. Um, some of them, some reason, are getting pushed up above. And as you can see, they're sitting up here. But if I put the slabs or anything up there, then they don't get spiked. It's a little weird. Um, but we are getting quite a few drops coming through down here. Um, so I'm just wondering whether I can just sneak through and grab some of those instead like that. Maybe just sneak in and get them. Just don't tell the mobs. Like that guy. Yeah, maybe that'll work. I'll just do that. Um, but I've been sitting down here for probably 15, 20 minutes uh, while I just put a, uh, bits and pieces in the editor and a little look. Um, yeah, so it's, it's working all right. It's not the prettiest thing again, but hey, we don't need this thing to be pretty. We just need it to do its job, which it seems to be doing. So we'll see how lucky we are with well, throwing my wand away apparently. With that, there we go. Got plenty of charcoal, some grass, some more zen crystals. Those things uh, make some really cool looking blocks. Um, yeah, not much in the way of awesome rewards though. So I did put an elevator in so we can literally just go straight up and down. So that's our base all the way up there. We come straight up and we're in. And I did test it out. It's still loaded down there. So the mobs are still actually spawning. We don't need to listen to them. Hey, alrighty, let's see how these guys went. Ah, there we go. Full stack and a bit, full stack and a bit. So, let's test our luck on these guys now, because we do need those extra elements to keep going with this. So, there we go. Looks like we're a bit luckier this time. Copper, lithium. There we go. So, we'll pop those guys back through just in case. 
do, do, do. I think we're out of power. Luckily, someone got some charcoal chunks in a reward. I'll just chuck those in. I got chucked a little sterling generator there. Just things were going very, very slowly. I don't like slowly. There we go. That should give us what we need. So copper, lithium, chlorine, magnesium, and zinc. All right. So I thought there wasn't a quest. What were the quests we needed? Oh, we already completed the chlorine. Lithium, fluorine, bromine, zinc. So, I know we got lithium. We get fluorine. It doesn't appear we got that one. So, we're back over to this one. And doesn't look like we got it again. Hmm. I wonder if it actually is that stuff we need to dissolve. Or whether we need to use the evaporator for something else. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't need it for that one. So, how do we get the fluorine? Is that from the magma block? Let's just go into our quest book and have a look. Yeah, the magma block. Alright, so this is why I filled this guy up before. Because now we turn lava into these things. And that gives us some magma blocks to play with. So I'm not sure how quick they actually are. I haven't tested this yet. Not the fastest thing in the world, but as we get a couple more buckets while we're at it, because I'm sure we'll need a few. Yeah. Might need to hook that tank up. We did get one as a quest reward. It doesn't appear to be holding a lot of liquid. So there we go. We'll get some more of this stuff. No, it's got plenty, just no power. Hmm, that would explain it. Go on, find it, you can do it. Keep everything going. We'll still chuck that tank down the back anyway. And we can get, configure it to pull from the back. There we go. Then we can literally just pull buckets straight out of that. But let's see if we've got any goodies. Oh look. Three magma blocks. Two magma blocks. Hmm. There we go. So we got five. Let's see if we were lucky enough to get what we needed. Oh, we got some lead. Oh, we might just be what was that one? Magnesium oxide. That's just silicon dioxide. Cool. Let's have a look. So lithium, sulfur, magnesium, copper, lead. Hmm. So we didn't get fluorine, didn't get bromine. Have we got zinc? I've got a feeling we've got zinc already. Yeah, we got zinc already. There we go. So I'll just uh, let that smelt. Keep chucking some stuff in there. And uh, yeah, hopefully when I get the last couple, I'll come back. All right, let's get All righty, so I've been letting that build up for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Um, okay, building it up, filling it up, chucking it in there, and then chucking in the magma blocks over there. And I've got nothing, nothing at all. So I'm just going to let it build up and build up and build up, and then I'm just going to do a whole big batch at once. So I thought while we're waiting for that, we'll get up two other machines that we actually really need and we should have had already to uh, start progressing. So I need to go into the shop first and buy two items. And they are 
two of those guys. So if you're not familiar with Ender IO, they are the base parts that you need for your machine chassis. I did that the wrong way. Good one, Thunder. There we go. So may as well make two of these machine chassis while we're at it. No greens of infinity. There we go. So a simple machine chassis. There we go. We got two of them. So the first one we need is the simple sag mill. So we get that from getting a couple of gears, a piston, and some flint. And we can use either the iron or the iron alloy. So uh, I'm sure we've got some silicon dioxide here. So flint, I'll actually go and sleep so you guys can see better. Oh, and some good news as well. We uh, we had a couple of spawns while we were waiting. We got a piggy and a chicken. Only one of each, so makes it a bit hard to breed. We don't want uh, chicken and bacon. Well, it's good on a burger, but probably not as an abomination. No, not yet. Alrighty, so where were we? Uh, we were making a piston, I believe. Sure, for now. just cover that a bad joke, why not? Alrighty, so we do need some wood as well. So three bits and then four bits of cobblestone. And three wood, four cobble, piece of iron, piece of redstone. There we go, and then we were taking our silicon dioxide over here. And I think that's, no, that's sand. Good one. There we go, there's flint. You know what, we got plenty. Let's just do that. I'm sure we will need a flint somewhere along the line. So there's our sag mill. So we've got the gears, we've got the iron, we've got the chassis, we've got the flint, we've got that. So there we go. So if we chuck that guy there, and then we get another generator there and the uh, alloy smelter there. So it's the alloy smelter's turn now. So we will grab, same thing, we just need a bucket, uh, three iron, and two furnaces. So I don't think that's going to be very hard to do. There is our two furnaces. And we needed some iron, which we've got. So we just need... Is it the bucket? No, oh, we've got everything. There we go. Have to make a new bucket soon there. Alrighty, and then we just steal this guy here. Chuck that down there. Oh, we might as well make a heap of charcoal. Oh, I already did. Funder was thinking ahead. Then we chuck that in there and get these guys powered. So this here, we can use iron, crushed coal, and obsidian to make the dark metal, which will lead us on to our sterling generator, uh, which is a lot better power. Once we start getting into a lot more reliable power that doesn't keep chewing the fuel all the time, uh, we can then start moving our quest line towards this awesome mob. Um, it is the simulation chamber. It's from Deep Mob Learning. If you're not familiar with it, really cool mob. Uh, mod pack, so you basically, the simulation chamber fights mobs for you and gets their drops and you get things like pristine matter and all that kind of stuff, uh, which turns into uh, the mob drops. So you can take it all the way up to it fighting wither for you. So you get pristine wither matter or wither skeleton um, and you can use it to get skulls or coal or you can get the pristine wither and you can actually get nether stars out of it. So uh, sort of like Woot in the old days, but it uh, doesn't require to build massive mega structures. It just requires you to kill the mob a couple of times. Um, 
Uh, so that way you build the card up, and once your card's at basic, you can pop it in the machine, and it will just keep running. It does take a lot of power, though. All right, so I think I might call it there. Uh, we have made a fair bit of progress today. Doesn't look like it, but I'm pretty sure we did. Take my word for it, we did. So we did get our simple sag mill and our alloy smelter. I'm going to steal that. Um, so these guys here are going to help us build up pretty quick now. Um, so the alloy smelter, um, of course, going to make up the new metals we need to make the next tier machines. Uh, and the sag mill is going to be able to crush things like grass clippings and things like that. So uh, with the grass we got from the quest reward, I'll probably end up turning maybe that platform into a nice big field as well. Uh, popping a fence around it, I'll use it to bone meal, get heaps of grass, get those clippings, uh, get the grass um, uh, with a pair of shears. Pop it in here, you get clippings and trippings and all that kind of stuff. You can make your organic dyes that way. Um, and then we build up our Ender IO stuff from there and hopefully get into deep mob learning very soon because if you guys haven't seen uh, the set of armor that comes with it, it's, uh, it's glitch armor. It's really cool looking. Um, it's the glitch infused helmet, the chest plate, the uh, the leggings, and the, the greaves. Um, and you can see there, full set gives you fly. So um, you get flight and immunity against fall damage. So it doesn't matter how high you fall down from, you do not take any damage at all. So you get creative flight out of that. And I cannot wait. Some of the base structures we can build with that stuff is going to be fun. So, all right, if you uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed that episode and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.